Beautiful shot. The fieldsman got a bad bounce, but it was beautifully struck by Tendalka. Four runs. Uh, we have some seats watching as well. And this shot here was certainly clipped. And watch how it bounces and almost hits cover on the head. He went down for it, almost to his peril. Oh, <laughs> in fact, it bounced at least two feet over the top of his head. That's nicely played two into the gap. Brandis has a big chase. I think he can give it up. Beautifully timed by Tendulkar. That's four runs, and up comes the 50 for India. They're 52 for two at the end of 10 overs. Swung away by Srikant. There is a man down there. And you've got to get uh, fairly firm footing. And Dewar's uh, looked a little uncomfortable lighting that one up, but he got it in the end. And one run for Srikant. Very overcast here, quite threatening in fact. It's remarkable we haven't had any rain for a couple of hours in Hamilton. The forecast suggests that it was going to rain most of the afternoon. Let's hope not anyway. And that's a nice shot. Down towards third man. Butchart saves well. Very good fielding indeed. Under difficult and trying conditions. And Ian Butchart did very well indeed. Three can over the top. Big hit. And bouncing once and into the fence for four. Srikant uh, prefers to hit it over mid-off or straighter than that, but on this occasion, just fetching it a little bit, and it goes over long on. Just outside off stump, and getting the body weight coming forward into it, and one bounce. Stroke, four runs. Yes, I can't understand the field placement here. He hasn't got an offside sweeper. He's still got a gully in. And that was width. And didn't he cream it? And Dolka pulls on the onside. That'll be four more. This is a very good over for India. Yes, short. And he leapt into that shot. Fairly loose bowling here. Tendulkar managed to get it more towards mid-wicket than square. Shrikant's bowl. Burmester has his second success. And Shrikant, after a very aggressive approach, is bowled by Burmester for 32. It's 69 for three. Well, that's Burmester's second one-day international wicket. Almost a Yorker, and that's got right through Shrikant. And Burmester, he is delighted. And he's bowled quite well, too, for Zimbabwe. Well, they put the pressure on, but of course, India know that they've only got 32 overs. They've used up 12 of them, and it's now 69 for three as Chris Shrikant leaves. Oh, an edge there. He didn't know much about it at all. That's four. It's going to bring him four. Really, that was a lovely ball from Burmester, and he can well rue his misfortune because a little finer, and Andy Flower might have made the catch. Well, certainly a moral victory here to the bowler, but unfortunately in one-day cricket, very rarely do you have slips, certainly at this stage of the innings, and that's gone, that's rocketed to the boundary. And that's one of the reasons, because he plays strokes like that all around the park. Oh, that's a bad piece of fielding. Well, a big bonus for Tendulkar in India there. I mean, really, it's elementary to get some part of the body behind the ball. I mean, that's gone right through the gate, isn't it? Down the ground, Mandraka goes, and that's a very good shot. There's no one back there protecting it long on. And Mandraka gets his first runs and a boundary and a very good one. It's the end of the over. It's 85 for three now. 15 overs completed. And he's got some marvellous shots. Oh, Tricos missing there badly in the gully. So the field is just letting them down a little bit right at this time. And Tendulkar profiting. He's 23 from 20 balls. And that's a lovely shot. That's going to beat Dewars, is it? Oh, no, he did it. It's well fielded. Obviously. Very well fielded, but it's still three runs. But that's very good commitment in the field, because that looked like four. And 
his first ball. Just clipped away behind square. They'll get one at least. And that's all they'll get is Andy Pycroft. So there's the 100, the Indian 100. anyway and Bandraker hits a straight four and the end of the over 131 for three that's 23 gone now as Ali Shah bowls this is high in the air he should be okay yes he is and gets four runs good hit by Tendalka yes hitting across it and gets a bit of a top edge but really went after this one not getting quite hold of it and it was a steepler, but falling harmlessly between the two boundary fielders. Goes again, big hit here. This could be his 50, and it's six runs. And Tendulka bins up his 50 with a six. freeing his arms and looking to whack it over mid on it was certainly about a wedge i would have suggested and the wedge went uh, at least 65 meters and just lobbed over the boundary just made it over as you could see and so session tendalta goes to 52 and we see there the wagon wheel we're doing it all from one end to make it uh, to simplify it for you so far. I wonder what the message was. <laughs> was it to try and hit every ball to the boundary for four? We just watched the replay here. See, width didn't get hold of it actually, only just got it over mid-on, but mid-on is up and he hit it to the vacant spot. He would have known that that was his target. Tendoka launches into this one. That's four. Tremendous timing. Well, that's the one of the gaps I mentioned over mid-wicket. And he just waited for this. Just watch how he pauses. He got across there and fetched it. It was fairly low down, below waist high. He knew the gap was there. He had it in his mind. And there was only one place that was going. Now Mandraker goes for the big hit. Could be caught. And that's well held. Good catch by Kevin Dewars. And away goes Mandraker. It's 168 for four. Trying to get it over extra cover, I fancy. Not able to do that. And the way that this is caught is interesting. He's come down, given himself some room. And watch how he tries to take it reverse cup. And then the ball is so low, he has to catch it in an orthodox manner. So he almost cocked it up there. But however, the Indians have lost their fourth wicket at 168. <laughs> Well, again, Tricos has bowled this over very well indeed. Four balls gone, only three runs scored. Ambly down he goes, and uh, what's the story here? Is he stumped? He's wandering off. Or was he bowled? Let's have a look. Pitching just outside off. Just brushed the off stump, didn't it? Well, I think it was bowled without question. Bail comes off before uh, the ball sort of rebounds back. So he's gone, bowled. So away goes Campbell. One run he got, 170 for five. That's very good running between the wickets, and of course the pressure is on with just uh, a couple of overs to go. They've actually got to run for everything. At the very least, it's a runner ball, but of course those boundaries have still got to come. Jedidae's down the ground too. He might be caught, is he? Ali Shah has got a, a marvellous catch by Ali Shah. It looks for a moment as if it might not quite have carried, but to compensate, Shah pushed himself forward. And Jadija has gone, caught by Shah, bowled by Tricos for six. It's 182 for six now. 
Well, this is Tricos's third wicket. He's deserved it. He's bowled very well, but uh, a bit of loft in there. That's a very good diving catch low down. It might be the one of Rod Latham uh, dismissing one of the Australians just a, a week or so ago. Jeff Marsh. That's right. And so that's the sixth Indian wicket down. 182 for six in the 30th over. Tendulkar. <laughs> time because Campbell's coming in for it. Will he get it? He does. The marvellous innings of Sachin Tendulkar is over. Caught by Campbell out of backward point from the bowling of Burmester and India now are 184 for 7 in the 31st over. Well, a bit of an inside out shot here, just trying to squeeze it really. Uh, I'm pretty trying to hit it around mid on, but for the bottom hand, screwing it around. That's a very well judged catch, too. And Burmester picks up his third wicket for 30. And Tindalka's innings has come to an end. 81 and 77 deliveries, 184 for 7 in the 31st.